So, oh, um, literally just, I think it was yesterday, I've gotten beta access to version 0 by Vercel. And I was planning to hop on today and just play around with it and have a look at the features, see what it's like. And I thought, well, I may as well make a video of it. And there might be people that are interested. For those of you that aren't aware, for version 0 by Vercel is, I haven't really looked at it much from, but from any videos I've seen, it's kind of like ChatGPT, but for UI development and front end development. And then there's added features like you're able to click on a specific element and make some changes through text so i haven't used it i've watched a few videos i thought it looks promising and um, somewhat scary so i thought i'd make a quick video and um, just going through some of the things that i generate in this version of the beta i think i have a few free credits to use and then i assume you have to pay for more credits so i'll initially use it to um, build some front end um, and then i'll give my thoughts at the end i just created a basic next yes application um, and gutted out some of it so it's just i think it's just some basic ui that renders hello and in this video we're going to be looking at some ui developed ui i developed as part of a series that i'm doing on youtube where i start out a startup and i try to build a startup from scratch and um, i'm currently in the stages of building out an mvp and i have some basic ui designs so i thought this is a good kind of point to test this out see if i can generate something similar to this and I may as well make a video about it. There might be people that are interested in it and can maybe take something away from it. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing that I wanna maybe create is to see if it can create the layout for me. So on mobile here, I have a bottom navigation and then when it goes to desktop, it expands to a sidebar. So my first thing is if we if we tell version zero to create, give us that layout. So on mobile display, we want a bottom navigation mobile style and then when it gets above mobile display we want it to be a side navigation so i think that's the first thing that i'm going to ask version zero to do and we'll see how that gets on so so i've gone ahead and written my first prompt i want to create a custom layout when i'm on mobile i want the bottom mobile navigation when i'm on a larger display i want the navigation to be a side menu on the left okay maybe i should mention something about main content but let's just see what it does initially off that prompt. Okay, so it's taking my prompt. It looks like it's generating. I think it generates a few different variations. So then you can pick and choose. It doesn't really look... Is that it done? Surely not. Oh, does it not handle like display sizes yet? Okay, so that seems like it totally missed the mark altogether. Maybe the prompt could have been better. Maybe it just doesn't handle layouts yet. Um, but yeah. So yeah, maybe maybe the prompt could have been better. Maybe it just doesn't handle different layouts yet. Maybe it's a case of just creating custom UI. So we'll go ahead and try another prompt and um, maybe make it a bit more generic. I don't know if anything to this level is going to work. Like it's quite specific. Um, I have a feeling it's just going to be like basic UI. Like I want the UI of a shop page. I want the UI of a checkout page and things that are kind of familiar. I don't think there's going to be a lot of things that relate to this at this stage that their model has been trained on. So Maybe it's missed the mark a bit there. So let's go ahead, look at something else, come up with a different idea, and we'll give it a different prompt. Okay, so create me a custom web page which includes a header navigation, a welcome message, and a gallery of images. So what I'm thinking is something similar to this, some header navigation, a welcome message, and then maybe some sort of images. It could be sliding images, it could be something completely different to this but if it just gets somewhere along them bob like somewhere along that idea then maybe maybe that'll be good enough so okay we'll see we have a header navigation we have a website name navigation on the right a welcome mention message and images okay this looks to be a lot better now so that looks to be a lot better a lot of what we're a lot more what we're looking for and it gives us three different designs. I don't really like this one here, nor this one. Um, I think the first one is kind of the best. So now I want to play around. I think you can. It's possible to click things. Um, 
It looks like Tata was. Um, okay, so you can just type down here, I think. I don't know why I think I've seen a video where you can click things. But I can type down here and then refine this prompt. So I think one thing that we could change is we could maybe say I want the welcome message hero. I want the welcome message to be its own hero. So its own hero section with an image itself. So we'll go ahead and say that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and kind of changed the prompt in here uh, to refine it. There's a few things that I want to change. I want to maybe have this be its own section, the welcome message, with maybe its own image and a call to action and some text. So I've put in a prompt. I want the welcome message to be its own hero section with an image and a call to action. Let me just say button. I assume it would know, but this whole thing here is so small. It's like if you try to scroll, it's such a pain. You wouldn't want to be typing a lot in here. Okay, the welcome hero should also include welcome content along the lines of welcome to imager. We provide high quality content images for a fraction of the price. So let's throw that in and see how it does. Oh, here's the oak. Yeah, I can click this. Okay, I'm stupid. Um, click here. Oh, so then you can edit inline. Okay, we won't use that for now. I'll deselect that and I'll just give it in here and, and see how it does then. Okay. That's not bad at all. Um, they don't give you mock images at the moment. Um, it, I watched like a video with the creator of it or a, like advocate for it and he said it kind of takes away a bit from how clean it looks, which makes sense. So I think this looks good for now. I'm trying to think what else could we do. So maybe we'll, we'll make a few more changes and then we'll hop over to VS Code and see how actually easy it is to implement once we look at the code. Okay, so the next thing I want to change is I want this kind of hero section to be the image on the right and the content on the left. So we'll go ahead and select this. and say, So I'll go ahead and say I want the image on the right and the text content on the left. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, that seems to be, obviously this needs to be lined up better um, to float left. So we'll have to say that and um, discover more. Looks relatively decent. Image gallery here. Okay, so we'll go ahead and click this. I don't know how many credits I even have if I'm gonna run out soon, but we'll proceed. Um, I need this text to be on the left. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's, look, that's looking relatively decent. So if we go ahead and view the code, it I think it gives us it as a single React component. So we're importing we're using Next.js to import the link to navigate to different pages. Um, we have a main. We're using it uses Tailwind CSS, which is pretty nice. So you don't need any different CSS files. You don't need anything like that. It's all going to be contained in here. So it looks pretty good. We have our images. Funny enough, it doesn't actually use Next image. It just uses HTML um, images. So when we put this in, we're gonna get an error to use next image. It didn't actually give us the next image component. But it, all, it looks pretty decent. Um, let's go ahead, copy it into the VS code and see how well it does. Okay, so I've gone ahead and thrown in the code and there were just a few little things that I had to change. So if we go back to the previous version on version zero, um, I mentioned here that the button component was something that we didn't have, so I went ahead and removed that. Um, and where the button component was used here, I just gave the paragraph tag some CSS styling to style it like a button, since we don't actually have a button component. So this will be able to do for now. Then also I mentioned that it didn't actually use the next image component. So if you were to put this in, it would highlight in red. Um, I've since changed that out to use the next image component. Um, I've imported that from the next image. It's pretty much the same. I don't know why that's not being used yet. Maybe it was an issue with this generation, but I'd imagine like the link component, they'd be able to use that and transfer over to that as well to make things a bit easier there. But I've just changed that for now. So I've added them all to be image components and I've imported a few mock images. Just I've taken some from Google. I've just taken two images. So there is going to be duplicates, but I think for demonstration purposes, it should be fine. So. I've jotted that all in. Now let's jump over to the web page and take a look. Okay, so here we can have a look at the web page that's currently 
uh, live and running on localhost and in my opinion it looks pretty decent and um, for the first run of the application for a beta version um, is it in beta or is it in alpha private beta yeah so for a beta version it looks relatively decent and um, it could pass as a generic web page if it was a portfolio for someone to showcase images for photography if it was a website that was selling images it looks professional enough it is pretty simple basic and um, there are things I would change but I mean for an application that lets you generate um code with no understanding of code being able to select things I think it turned out relatively good it is very similar to chat GPT the whole experience just with the whole added benefit of being able to actually target specific UI and tell it different things you could do that in chat GPT as well you could say oh can you actually make the header a line left but I think this will give it a lot easier access to people who are looking to create UI but don't actually have any coding skills so I think this will lower the barrier to entry for people that are looking to get started in UI development and being able to make generally generally good looking sites um, from the get go. Overall I'm pretty impressed with the whole experience. I think there are areas for improvement um, but yeah overall I'm pretty impressed with the beta. Do I think that this is going to be uh, maybe harmful for front end developers? Is it going to come after people's jobs? Is it going to affect front end developers? And I think my thoughts on this whole will AI affect or take away some jobs has kind of changed slightly. I do think there's going to be certain areas of front end development affected. And I think maybe in the future, there's going to be a lot less of writing UI components and a lot more of giving a model like this a design spec and having it generate all the all the UI and all the components for you. And I think a lot of the development jobs in the future is going to be connecting the front end and the back end together and implementing that logic rather than creating UI like this. So I don't think developers in the future will be spending any time aligning content to the left here and fixing margins and adding grid images like this. I think a lot of it in the future is going to be like if I open Figma say for example you design out your web page in Figma or maybe there's another software by then and you have your initial UI um, I think you'd be able to give a system similar to this a design file with all your design layouts and I think it would be able to construct it for you so I think I think front-end development will definitely be changing I think there's going to be a lot of changes there a lot of disruption I don't think we're going to be doing it the way that it's been done previously I think that's obvious but I don't think it's going to take away any jobs. I think if anything, it's going to create jobs. I think there's going to be a lot more opportunities for developers to basically maintain and integrate these, like these UI developments, these UI generated files with existing backend technologies and helping them actually implement business logic. There's a great video on YouTube about this by, I forget his name. I think it's Stefan. Stefan Miss, I'm going to butcher his name, Stefan Mischuk, where he goes over basically this whole concept of how it's going to make more jobs. Um, Where is it? This video here, so developer jobs are riding high, and he basically talks about how the opportunities for jobs he believes will increase um, and how the demand is still there. So that's an interesting video, if I'd recommend maybe going and watching it, but... Yeah, I think this has been really cool. Um, it's definitely something I'll probably use in the future. Um, when it gets out of beta, I imagine it'll be a lot more a lot more impressive. But yeah, overall pretty cool. I'm not afraid. I don't think it's going to take any jobs. I think it's just going to be another cool tool that we can use to help build um, pretty nice software. So yeah, looking forward to using it. Um, hopefully you've gained a bit of insight from this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching me using it along the way. If you haven't already, um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the like button as well. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.